This is the news in brief from the United Nations. Credible reports indicate that Russian armed forces have used cluster munitions in populated areas of Ukraine at least two dozen times since they invaded on the 24th of February, UN Rights Chief Michel Bachelet said on Wednesday. The UN High Commissioner for Human Rights also told the Human Rights Council that her office had verified 77 incidents in which medical facilities have been damaged, including 50 hospitals. In many areas across the country, people urgently need medical supplies, food, water, shelter and basic household items, Ms Bachelet said. While it is also proving difficult to assess just how many people have been killed in places of constant shelling and intensive fighting, such as Mariupol and Volnavaka. Ahead of Ms Bachelet's speech, the Human Rights Council announced the names of the three investigators who are to carry out the work of the recently established Commission of Inquiry on Ukraine. They are Eric Muz of Norway, Jasminka Jumur of Bosnia and Herzegovina and Pablo de Greif of Colombia. Staying with Ukraine, the UN Population Fund, UNFPA, warned on Wednesday that the war there is expected to drive an increase in unintended pregnancy. The alert came as the UN agency published its latest State of the World Population report, indicating that nearly a quarter of all women are effectively forced to have sex and nearly half of all pregnancies are unintended globally. Speaking in Geneva, here's UNFPA's Monica Ferro. We are foreseeing that 265 thousand women are pregnant in Ukraine and in the next three months 80,000 will give birth. So if there's no health facilities for them to give birth or if they don't have access to health care, this is going to increase as we know maternal mortality and morbidity. Earlier this month, a maternity hospital was targeted by shelling in the stricken coastal city of Mariupol. As part of the UN's response, UNFPA has shipped essential medicines and life-saving sexual and reproductive health services and supplies to Ukraine. To Central African Republic, where there's deep concern among UN peacekeepers that dreadful rights violations against civilians have continued, linked to long-running conflict. The country has faced violence since former leader Francois Bozizé was ousted in 2013, and bloodshed has continued with several peace agreements coming and going since then, involving multiple armed groups. According to the UN mission in the Central African Republic, known as MINUSCA, sexual violence and grave violations of children's rights associated with armed violence continue to take place today. In the centre and east regions of Central African Republic, widespread rape of women and girls by armed group elements has been documented, said MINUSCA's Lisbeth Colity, Deputy Special Representative of the UN Secretary General. Speaking to the Human Rights Council in Geneva, Ms. Kulati described a days-long attack against Muslims in the village of Boyo in December 2021. It left 20 civilians dead, at least five women raped, and 547 houses burned or razed. Echoing the call to advance justice and reconciliation in the country, UN Rights Chief Michel Bachelet said that more than 1.4 million people have been forced to flee their homes since a ceasefire was declared last October. Daniel Johnson, UN News.